Hello all, welcome back to my YouTube channel all about VLSI. In this video, we are going to start with the discussion of project development series. So in project development series, we are going to start, we are going to do a series of projects and we are going to get some hands on on Verilog. That is our main agenda of this particular course. Now, so the very first project which we are going to do is to develop a simple 8 cross 8 RAM. Let us start with my very first project that is nothing but my 8 cross 8 RAM, random access memory. Now here 8 stands for number of locations and another 8 stands for width of each location. So this we are going to develop using our Verilog, right? Now, so this is how your RAM is going to look like. So in RAM also we have two type of, now first of all, let us see the block diagram of this design. So your block diagram of a simple 8 cross 8 RAM is going to look like this 8 cross 8 RAM where we are going to have clock as one of the input because it is a sequential circuit and reset followed by let's say if we want to write any data into the RAM, we need one enable signal for performing the write operation into the RAM. Okay, that that I will mention it as write enable. So whenever this write enable is equal to one, then only we can write the data into the RAM. I will write down here. Whenever my write enable is equal to one, then I can perform the write operation or else if it is equal to zero, I cannot perform any write operation. Now, let's say this is my memory. In this memory, I have basically eight number of locations like this. Okay. And the width of each location is eight bits. Total number of locations is eight and the width of each location is eight bits. Now, so let's say if I want to write my data in this memory, that's why. So if I want to write any data in this memory, so I have to mention the location of this memory. I'm going to write down the indexes first. So this location is going to have the index as zero, one, two, three, so on, and total seven, zero to seven. That is nothing but eight number of locations. Now here, this index two is nothing but my address of this particular location. Therefore, I'm going to have a signal, which is known as write underscore address. If I want to perform a write operation, I need to first make my write enable to one and I need to provide the appropriate address so that I can write into that particular location. This is how I'm going to write any data into my RAM. I'm going to repeat it one more time. If I want to write any data into my RAM, I need to provide the write enable signal first. That means I am going to enable my write operation and I also need to provide the address. That is, I'm going to mention the location at which I want to write the data. Okay. That I need to mention. Now, this address coming to this address width. So clock is one bit width, reset is one bit width and write enable is also one bit width. Now coming to this write address width, what should be this? What should be the width of this write address? So you have total seven number of locations. So for representing seven numbers, you need only three bits. So that's why your write address is nothing but three bits. Okay. So I'm going to make it as only three bits. Now, if I want to insert my data inside my RAM, I'm going to have one more signal, which is known as data underscore in using this signal. I am going to, I am going to insert the data inside my RAM. Okay. So the very first signal is, so the very first signal I'm going to have is clock reset. And for performing the write operation, I'm going to use a signal, which is known as write enable. If this write enable is equal to one, then I can perform write operation. And if this write enable is equal to zero, then I'm going to perform read operation is equal to zero. Then I'm going to perform read operation. Okay. And using this signal, that is nothing but my write address. I'm going to mention into which location I want to write the data. So it is of three bits width. That is using three bits. You can, you can represent up to zero to seven. And using this data underscore in signal or data in signal, I'm going to insert the data inside my RAM. 
Now, what is the width of each location? It is nothing but eight number of bits. So here my data in is nothing but eight number of bits. Similarly, if I want to perform the read operation, then what I'm going to do. So in the case of my read operation, I am basically reading the data content, which is present inside my RAM. So therefore I'm going to have a signal, which is known as data out. Using this signal, I am going to get my data out of this RAM and this is of also 8 bits. So using the signal, I am going to get my data out of this RAM. Now, if I want to perform read operation, I need to make my write enable to 0. And I also need to provide the address or the location from which I want to read the data from. That location, if I provide, then only I can able to get the data out of this RAM and it, it will be available in my data underscore out signal. So here I need to provide that is nothing but my read address. It is of also three bits. So these are the signals which are associated with my RAM. Clock, reset, write enable is a signal which is going to decide whether to perform a write operation or whether to perform a read operation. And one more signal is write address which is of three bits. Now, if it is equal to three bits, so total eight number of locations, we can write the data and from the next we are going to have data in. So using this particular signal, we are going to write the data into, into my RAM and coming to read address. So if I want to read any data out of my RAM, I'm going to provide from which address I want to read the data from that particular address. If I mention, I can read the data from this RAM and followed by data out. So this is a general block diagram of how you are going to build a simple RAM. Okay. Coming to specifications, my entire design is going to work on the positive edge of the clock or rising edge of the clock. My entire design is going to work and my reset signal. It is an asynchronous reset. Now, what do you mean by an asynchronous reset? Asynchronous reset in the sense, if you apply reset signal, irrespective of clock, your design is going to be set in a reset state. And next is write enable. We already know if your write enable is equal to one, then you are going to perform a write operation. And if your write enable is equal to zero, you are going to perform a read operation. This we already know. Okay. Let's say if I want to write the data inside this location, that is number two. Okay. So how to write the data? First, I'm going to make my write enable to one. Next, I need to provide my write address. My write address is nothing but three tick binary zero one zero. This is how I'm going to mention my write address and I should also mention my data. So how to mention my data data in data in is equal to eight tick binary one one zero one underscore zero 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 one. So my data will be written into the address zero one zero since my write enable is equal to one. Let's say if I want to read the data, then how I'm going to read the data, write enable is should be made to zero. I'm going to provide my read address. Let's say if I want to read the data, which is present inside the same address that is zero one zero. From the data out, we are going to get our data from the data out signal. We are going to data. We are going to get the data that is nothing but one one zero one followed by triple zero one. So this is how we are going to perform the read operation. Now let us see how to develop the Verilog code for this and let us try to understand. Now let us develop our RAM 8 cross 8. So here I'm going to declare my inputs as uh, clock reset. Since it is a active low reset, reset and um, write enable and I'm going to declare my input three down to zero right address. And I'm also going to declare input seven down to zero data underscore in and input read enable. So these are my inputs, right address, right enable, data underscore in read enable and my outputs are seven down to zero data underscore out. So these are my inputs and outputs of my RAM. Now 
so first I'm, what i'm going to do is i'm going to declare an internal memory so how i'm going to declare it so creating one internal memory so how to create it rich 7 down to 0 mem 7 down to 0 so i've created an internal memory which is going to have total eight number of locations and each location is going to have eight number of bits now first of all i'm going to write down my reset logic so how to write my reset logic always at the rate passage of clock now let us write down my write logic now how to write my writing logic so always at the rate passage of clock or reset what are we going to do is begin it is rst so what are we going to do is first we are going to check if the reset signal is applied if the reset signal is applied we are going to make we are going to fill all the memory locations with zero so i'm going to declare a variable integer i so i'm going to use for loop for i is equal to zero i less than seven i is equal to i plus one mem of i is equal to zero since it is a sequential logic i am going to use non-blocking assignment and i should use begin block else if my write enable is equal to one if my write enable is equal to one then i am going to perform write operation so how to perform my write operation so i am going to write down simply if write enable i am going to write down simply mem of write address which is equal to data underscore in mem of write address is equal to data underscore in that's it this is my write logic now i can include my read logic here itself so what i am going to write down is else if write underscore enable is equal to zero then my data underscore out is equal to mem of read underscore address that's it so this is the reading logic i can include here in the same block itself okay write logic and read logic that's it so this is my simple ram which i have declared and let me check it out read address read address i haven't declared yeah let me declare that also input 3 down to 0 read underscore address okay yes so this is my ram which i have built 8 cross 8 ram now let me save this and let us try to develop the test bench also create simulation source next create file here what i am going to do is i am going to declare the inputs as rich so what are the inputs i have for my design clock reset and let me check it out clock reset write enable write address write enable and i have write address 3 down to 0 write underscore address okay and next the input set of inputs i have is my data underscore in and read enable rich 7 down to 0 data underscore in and read enable rich read underscore enable and my outputs are and also i have read address rich 3 down to 0 read address and my outputs are simply data underscore out so i'm going to declare this wire wire 7 down to 0 data underscore out so these are my inputs and outputs of my ram 8 cross 8 now i am going to instantiate my design how to instantiate my design ram 8 underscore 8 dut clock reset write enable write address data underscore in read enable read address data underscore out 
so these are my inputs and outputs i have instantiated so i have instantiated my design now i am going to initialize all my inputs how to initialize them initial begin clock reset clock reset write enable write address and data underscore in read enable and read address is equal to zero okay and followed by end now so within an initial beginning block so before that i need to generate my clock so how to generate the clock i'm going to use always block always hash five clock is equal to not of clock i've generated my clock now what i'm going to do is i'm going to first of all apply my reset signal so first reset is equal to one next after some time reset is equal to zero okay next what i'm going to do is i'm going to first of all apply my write enable is equal to one next i'm going to provide my write address as let's say three tick binary one double zero that is fourth location i want to write my data let's say data underscore in is equal to five and after some time and the next stage next stage of the clock i'm going to apply my right enable again it is equal to one and my right address is equal to five so in the subsequent locations i'm going to write my data and data n is equal to 10 okay and hash 10 dollar finish and followed by end and end module so this is how i'm going to write my data okay now let me save this and simulate it let us see what we are going to get so here the design name is ram 8 cross 8 in the caps let me change it and save it and run it again so let us check what are we getting at our output so this is my data out here if i want my data is successfully written and if i want to check my data out first of all i should provide my write enable to zero and my I also should provide my read address. So let's say if my read address is one double zero. Okay. And let's say after some time, I'm going to provide my read address is equal to three tick binary one zero one. Now let us save this and let us run this. Let us check what are we getting. So this is my data in. So I can check it out. So my data in is equal to five and at address four, and I'm also providing the same read address that is four. And my if my write enable is equal to zero, then I'm getting my data that is nothing but five, which was written. You can see in the data out signal, you're getting five. Okay. So this is how you're going to read the data. And if you change the read address, let's say in the test bench, if you're changing your read address is equal to four. And after some time, you're going to provide five. And after 10 nanosecond, you're going to call finish okay let us relaunch it again so we can see if we are writing the data into the fifth location and if we are trying to read the data from the fifth location we are getting the same data okay and if we are trying to write the data in the fourth location that is we are going to write the data that is five and if we are trying to read the data from the fourth location we are able to get that particular data okay and in the test bench there is no signal like read enable let me remove this write enable there is no signal like read enable and in the design also we are not using this read enable signal so this is how i'm going to design a simple 8 cross 8 ram now in our next sessions we are going to discuss about how to design a fifo and how to use parameters for dynamic for changing your width and depth of your ram or fifo from outside the design itself without actually modifying the hard coded values how to change it using the help of parameters let us try to discuss with the example of our ram and fifo yes so that's all about this particular video if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel all about vlsi thank you for watching this video